In this video, we'll take a look at how we can install Postgres on a Windows machine. So let's go ahead and just search for Postgres. And it's almost always going to be the first instance. So just go to uh, postgresql.org. And then we can just select the downloads button. Here, go ahead and select Windows. And then up here, just select the download the installer link. And so here you see all of the downloads options. So right now the latest version is 13.4. So I'm going to just download that one. You may see a newer version. Feel free to download that. Nothing's going to really change between each version. Once that's downloaded, start the installer. If you see this pop up, just select yes. Right, with the installer open, select next. Uh, you can leave the default installation directory. No one usually messes with that. Now here you can select the different components that you want to install with your Postgres instance. So uh, for the first thing that you have is the Postgres SQL Server. That's obviously what you want to download. The next one is PG Admin. So this is a GUI that can be used to manage your Postgres instance. We're going to be using that to actually manage Postgres. So you want to make sure that you've got that downloaded. Stack Builder, this is a um, an extra feature that can be used to install extensions and extra features within Postgres. We're not going to be installing any of those extensions, so there's no need to have Stack Builder. However, it's not going to break anything if you do leave it checked. And then uh, we'll, we won't be using any command line tools to manage Postgres. However, go ahead and just leave that checked just in case, you know, down the road you actually do want to use it. All right. And then once again, leave the default data directory. Uh, then you have to pass in the password for the super user. So uh, make sure you remember this password. Then you got to specify the port that you want your database to be listening on. Uh, the default Postgres port is going to be 5432. You can change it if you want, but you have to make sure that you update uh, everything else uh, when it comes to creating our code uh, to update that port number. I'm going to leave it as default as do most people. And then just hit next on this window and then next here, next. And then it's going to start the installation process. And once that's complete, just hit finish. And then, like I said, we're going to be using the PG admin GUI software to manage our Postgres instance. So if you just search for PG admin, you'll see that it's right there. Just select that and open it up. And then uh, at that point in the next video, we'll start taking a look at how we can use that to not only uh, create individual database instances, but also create tables and things like that.